What's up everybody, Leonardo2003 here today. Just a quick little video uh, talking about some tidbits of news on The Last Ronin, issue number two, and then the next chapter. Uh, if you haven't heard about that yet, uh, just stay tuned for a few minutes. But don't get your hopes up, it's probably nothing, but something new that Viacom trademarked, so we'll talk about it. Uh, I'll give you what I think it could be, the possibilities, what it probably isn't, what it could be. Uh, I figured I'd just talk about it since right now there's not much else to talk about. As I told you guys, my next video is going to be the top 10 episodes of Season 6 of the 2003 series, Fast Forward. Uh, I had to rewatch the series because I, I looked back at the list I made and I was like, you know what? Some of these episodes, they're not jiving really. Like, I, I remember the main gist of the episodes, but I had to really go back, rewatch the entire season and then update my list. And I'm about three quarters of the way through uh, watching. I'll finish it up tonight, probably. And I'm pleasantly surprised. Now talk. So definitely keep your eyes out for that fast forward video. And uh, maybe it'll inspire you to go back and rewatch that season because it's actually pretty enjoyable. But let's just hop right over to Tom Waltz's Twitter account and check out the latest on The Last Ronin. In my last video, I had this image, a, uh, the black and white version of this awesome shot of Karai and Raphael. And a few days later, he actually posted the fully colored version of the two panels. And, I mean, I didn't think it could get much more cooler than that black and white image, but, I mean, just, just look at this. It is just beautiful. I don't know if I've ever seen a more badass looking Raphael in any incarnation, ever. I mean, seriously. And Karai, I mean, this might be my favorite version of Karai, too. I mean, just look at her. Perfect. And then check out this awesome black and white preview, presumably of a throwback of Hiroko Hiroto and some foot soldiers in the background. Uh, as you can see, uh, Hiroto is absolutely shredded. And it looks like he's either training or in mid-battle in this picture. Uh, but obviously a really cool shot. Can't wait to see the colored version. Just can't wait to see this comic. Now here's the big news portion of what we're talking about today with The Last Ronin. The good news being that the director's cut for issue one was confirmed. I'm guessing they're probably gonna have a director's cut for all five issues that are gonna be coming out. The cover of the director's cut is pretty badass. Uh, just like a simple, simple coloring of that, uh, of an awesome shot of The Last Ronin. It's gonna be a bit pricier than the normal issues. I think the normal ones go for $7.99. The director's cut is gonna go for $10.99. Not a big jump, uh, really not a big deal at all. But in this tweet, Tom also indicated that issue number two might be delayed. He didn't say that it's gonna be delayed, but he said it's running a bit later than anticipated. Uh, he just keeps saying that it will be finished soon. So soon is the word. Haven't heard anything about a delay yet, but today is December 27th. It's supposed to release exactly a month from today. Uh, January 27th. So we'll see. I mean, it already got delayed once. Um, if it gets delayed again, I mean, I'm not really going to care. Uh, it'll probably just be a couple weeks. And uh, I mean, this is one of those things where the delay is always going to be worth it. I mean, the anticipation is just killing me to get issue number two. And I mean, I'm so ready. It's going gonna, it's gonna to suck if it gets delayed even further. But I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you can't rush. They say you can't rush perfection. And this comic is pretty damn close to perfection. Now, it was also confirmed a couple weeks ago that there's going to be a third printing of The Last Ronin Issue 1 released the same day that Issue 2 is supposed to be releasing. Uh, it's got a pretty cool new black and white cover. Uh, just another printing of this thing. I mean, definitely over 100,000 copies sold of this thing so far, I'm sure. I mean, it's just the, the success is insane. And as a TMNT fan, you, you just got to love it. So if there are any delays on issue two, or if there's some cool new previews shown from Tom Walter's Twitter, I'll be sure to update you guys in my next video. Also, I think I'm going to start a segment. I think I'm going to do it right now. Uh, it'll be a thing where kind of every video, like once a month, not every video, but once a month, I just go with you guys, I take you online with me, and I just try to get a really cool Ninja Turtle action figure. And as the series goes along, as I keep making these purchases, just put in the comments down below just a really cool figure that you think I would like to have and uh, I'll try to snipe it. But why not? Why not just start it right now? So come on, let's let's go. Let's hop on eBay right now. All right, so I can't get OBS to work right now and get my uh, get my webcam face cam in there too. But uh, let's see what we're gonna be buying today. I'm thinking I've done a little bit of research on these uh, these fast forward figures 
So uh, let's see what we got going on. Now this fast forward line of the 2003 series, I think it's fitting right now that I buy because uh, I'm doing the top 10 list as my next video. But uh, these figures are pretty rare, especially in box. I'm pretty much looking for everything in box right now. I don't have any, I'm not gonna be playing with these figures. I just like to have them as like a display type thing. But uh, let's go to lowest price. Now, of course, at first we're gonna see a lot of the out of the box stuff. I mean, I would love to snag a dark turtle, but I know that they're they're gonna be rare, especially in box. You right, see, we got Torben Zix and Splinter, pretty common. Um, Jammerhead, Cody. Serling's that, I mean, that's a pretty cool figure, Serling, but I mean, I'm looking for one of the turtles. Wow, so the cheapest turtles on eBay in box are a Michelangelo and a Donatello, and they're both a hundred bucks. And the cheapest dark turtle is 160, and that's the dark Donatello. Fuck this shit, I'm out. All right, let's go on like the Google search and see if we can find any other websites that might have a better deal for one of the turtles or one of the dark turtles. Uh, here, this might be a deal. This might be a deal on uh, Mercari. Inbox, Donatello. Brand new, hard to find, Playmates, fast forward Donatello. The figure is very hard to find, brand new, mint condition. Just some minor shelfware. Whew, 60 bucks? You know what, guys? I think that this is gonna be the first Wow, and this has been posted for over a year. Maybe he just dropped the price to uh, to 60 bucks recently. Yeah, updated three days ago. Maybe he just dropped the price. But with shipping, a total of 65 bucks. And this is probably the cheapest you can get any of the turtles on the internet right now. This is the cheapest dark turtle on the internet, but I'm not trying to spend 130 bucks right now. So you know what? I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on this Fast forward, Donatello coming to me from California. Wow, look at this. So I just made an account. Hit buy now. This item is temporarily unavailable. We'll see what this guy says. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, but in the meantime, I guess I'll run back over to eBay and uh, maybe check out a different line. Oh, you know who I'll be able to get for cheap is Quarry. I know that's a really easy to find figure. <laughs> Yeah, right, look at this. Cheapest one you can find, 1,500 bucks. How crazy is that? You know what, I might cop this shredder. Let's make him an offer that he can't refuse. This dude just hit me with a counter offer. Um, you know what, I didn't realize <laughs> that it was a bid and I just shot him a lower offer than the bid. Let's counter his counter. Let's meet him right in the middle. I said 22, he said 30. Let's see what 26 does. All right, this isn't going well, guys. <laughs> oh my lord, he just countered my counter going five bucks more than his original. You know what, I'm moving off this figure. Dude, all right, see you later, dude. What is going on here? You know what, I think that this is a cool figure. I might get it. I might, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one. You know what? I mean, you always gotta put it off her, and why not? You know what? I'm throwing a curveball here. I am going with the Karai figure from the 2007 movie. Or I guess it came out in 2006, but you know what? Whatever. This has been kind of a fail of a, uh, of a first attempt at this little mini series on the channel, but whatever. Let's go for it. All right, that's a wrap. I got it. I got the Karai. All right, now guys, Comment down below, what do you want me to snipe? Because uh, every every time I do this, it's gonna be per your request. I'll, I'll snip your comment, I'll put it on the screen, and I'll do my best to get it at a decent price. If I can't find it at a decent price, I'll just move it down the list and I'll keep my eye out for it. And uh, if I can snipe it, I will. But uh, definitely drop a comment down below. What are some of your favorite figures? And honestly, I'm looking for the, uh, the collections of the original Mirage comics too. The, the hardcover collections, because I really got to get, uh, I got to read the uh, the source material, honestly. Uh, I've only read bits and pieces, which is crazy to say, but I'm also, comics are also a, um, a possibility here too. But let me know down below, what do you want me to snipe? I'm going to do my best to do it. Now, let's talk about Viacom registering the trademark for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles next chapter. So all that we know is that on December 8th of 2020, Viacom filed their application to trademark Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles next chapter 
Other than that, this is pretty much the only other information that we have on this. The trademark type is Entertainment Services in the Nature of Continuing Program Series featuring animation, comedy, and drama provided through cable television, broadcast television, internet, video on demand, and through other forms of transmission media, providing online information in the field of entertainment concerning television programs. Now, I know that we don't know anything about this yet, but it did mention in the trademark that the type it is is continuing a previous program. I don't know if any of you guys shared the same first reaction that I did a few weeks ago when I read this, but I thought TMNT the 2012 series when I first read it. I mean, I really have felt, especially over the last few years, especially once Rise, we could tell it was fizzling out. The 2012 series, there's a good chance that it could be coming back. At least with a one-off movie, at least, that's like at minimum. But this could be a little spin-off continuation of the 2012 series. But before we speculate anymore, uh, here's like the timeline of everything we know. It was filed on the 8th, uh, went through some stuff on the 11th, maybe got processed or whatever. Um, three months from the filing date, so sometime in March, it's going to be examined by an attorney. So pretty much nothing can possibly happen until March, until this actually gets examined and uh, I guess proofread by an attorney or whatever and it looks like they paid for the trademark on the 11th as well that's all we know now stuff gets trademarked all the time especially big corporations they'll just trademark things uh, a lot of it doesn't come to fruition it never happens but they trademark it just in case because it's something that's on the cutting room floor and they're gonna trademark it just so that no one else can because uh, it's something that they're working on. Of course, whatever this is, it could get scrapped tomorrow, and this trademark could just be sitting in the, uh, the trademark system, and Nickelodeon and Viacom might not do anything with it. But if we do get any information on this, I mean, Toy Fair 2021, San Diego Comic Con 2021, I mean, that's when I guess we would hear the first rumblings of actual news, but I don't even want to get that ahead of myself. I mean, the next chapter is obviously, I mean, it said it even in the type of trademark that it is. It's a continuation of a past series. I mean, it, it pretty much says that in the trademark. So what are we continuing here? Um, I think that we could rule out the uh, the 2003 series. Just rule that out. It's not, it's not going to be getting a continuation. It hasn't even gotten the proper video release yet. So that is not getting continued. Um, any live action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff, I think that's also ruled out. So the original trilogy, The Next Mutation, uh, you can just rule those out. That includes the 2007 movie, the Michael Bay movies, definitely not those. I mean, the live action movies would have a better chance of getting a, a continuation than those for sure, but I still don't think it's going to be anything movie related. The things that I think it could be are maybe the 87 series, you never know. I mean, nostalgia is king, it's been king for like the last decade. You never know, that 87 series, I mean, it's made appearances, made appearances in the 2003 series in Turtles Forever, made appearances in the 2012 series multiple times. Um, I mean, maybe they will, uh, they'll actually bring it back and uh, try to continue it. I mean, it sounds a little, little far-fetched, but I mean, nostalgia is king. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, the 2012 series, I already spoke on that. That was like my gut reaction to this was like 2012 series like it's getting a, like a, an extra season a season six i mean i know people have been sending me this stuff that's on um imbd internet movie database or whatever that has a season six uh episode one of nickelodeon's 2012 series i don't think that's real i mean i've seen that for years i don't know why it's making the rounds right now but i i've seen screenshots of that for years I don't know why it got reposted right now. I mean, someone probably just trying to stir the pot, start some rumors. Um, but I do think that the 2012 series has a big chance of, uh, of getting a continuation season. Now, Rise of the TMNT, a lot of people, a lot of the Rise fans, they're saying that it's just on a hard pause. It's not even canceled. I mean, personally, I think that it's going to be the Netflix movie, and that's all she wrote for Rise of the TMNT. That's just what the chances are. I mean, if something's going to be hard paused, it's probably not coming back, especially a, a franchise like TMNT that's been recycled so many times. And it, it didn't work. They're going to have to fix it. I mean, it just didn't work. The, the toys didn't sell. I mean, the fan base, the fan base should have came out stronger 
when uh, in season one, when uh, the show was getting completely uh, a bad rap online. I mean, all of season one, the show did not have a good reputation online. But then all of a sudden, the hardcore fan base came out in uh, season two, and especially once it was announced that it was going to be cut in half, and then eventually canceled slash postponed, hard paused, whatever. Then, like everyone came out of the woodwork, all these hardcore fans. Well, if those hardcore fans came out early, supported it, bought the toys, and uh, actually were vocal about their fandom in the first place, the show probably would still be going right now. But that's a rant for another video. Uh, but this could be Rise of the TMNT, you never know. Um, I'd say it's a much better chance of being the 2012 series, but you never know. I mean, Rise is the most recent incarnation of the Turtles, so that is a possibility. Now this could also easily be referencing the Seth Rogen movie. Um, I'm sure you've seen this through all the, uh, the press articles that have been released in uh, 2020. The next chapter, that term, that phrase, is in a lot of the headlines and a lot of the subtitles of these articles. And that could have been something that was given to them by their, uh, their source. Maybe the next chapter actually is the, uh, the subtitle of the movie. I mean, that's something that actually we've got a little bit of a base to it. You can actually say that. All of the articles do say last chapter in it. Could that be a coincidence? I mean, I know it's a common terminology, especially if it's a, a reboot. I mean, it's the next chapter. It's the next thing in the franchise. But, I mean, it could be something to, uh, to watch out for. What do I think the next chapter is? Probably nothing. Um, if I had to rank, I'd say number one, the next mutation. Uh, we need that continuation. We need closure for the next mutation. Alright, seriously, i say there's three real possibilities here. One, it's going to end up being nothing. Two, the Seth Rogen movie. Three, the 2012 series. Those are the three things that I think are actual possibilities here. But what do you guys think? It would be absolutely crazy if this is like a whole new incarnation of the Turtles. I mean, Nickelodeon, they bought the franchise, they pumped out the 2012 series, immediately pumped out Rise of the TMNT. I mean, they're keeping busy with the franchise. I really think that, at least on the cartoon side, the Turtles could use a bit of a break. I really think Nick should just wait like five years. Just have IDW continue the comics. For the hardcore fans and for just the Ninja Turtle fans, but for the common fan, let some anticipation build. Let there be a hunger for a new uh, TMNT series, because there's been no time to have a hunger for a new series, because it's just been bang, bang, bang. 2003 series, 2012 series, Rise of the TMNT. It's like we've really not had much time to uh, to actually build a hunger for a new incarnation. And within that, we got the 2007 movie. We got two Michael Bay movies, and we're getting a Seth Rogen movie. I think that they need to pump the brakes on Turtles and let some hunger build up for the common fans. Because the common fan, that's what drives a series. That's what drives revenue. Not the hardcore fans, just the common fan. Because that makes up a much bigger demographic. Alright guys, anyway, that's the video. Just a quick one, just speculating, just talking. I had to get some... Some turtle talk off my chest because I've just been watching Fast Forward and I've uh, been busy with work. I work with the Postal Service. Postal Service in December is, it's a whole different beast. It's just 65 hour work weeks and not much time for much else. So I haven't been able to, to actually just watch Fast Forward all in one day because I barely get a day off, but uh, I'm not complaining. Uh, but the Fast Forward Top 10 list, keep an eye out for that. And I'll leave you with another teaser of the video that I'm going to follow up the Fast Forward Top 10 list with. Uh, so I'll leave you with that, guys. Uh, anyway, hope you're doing good. Hope you're staying safe. Hopefully this pandemic can, uh, can ease up soon. Uh, it's almost been a year since COVID started, which is absolutely insane. But we can just hope that this vaccine can, uh, can really fix things up and it can just slowly go away or actually hopefully quickly go away but i hope you guys are staying safe and uh keep rocking on peace out i will be back and remember one thing i never take a job where all the facts aren't fully disclosed